Today, our champion Joe Tavernese of Lynn faces the challenge of Al Johnson of Southwick on Candle Pin Bowling. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Candleton Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, but I'm always speaking with the whole crew when I say we're sure glad you chose to join us here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts. It's going to be three strings of Candleton Bowling, and it will be total pinfall, which will determine our winner. Now, each bowler takes home a permanent souvenir. These are provided by Din Brothers of Boston and Holyoke. They make very nice souvenirs. They'll be properly inscribed with your name and also the uh, date and whether you won or lost. And then also we will have guaranteed prize money, 700 to the winner, 350 to the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string, and many other opportunities for these bowlers to put a little more in the pocket, which they like. Okay, let's talk to today's bowlers, shall we? Well, Al, I still want to call you Alfie all the time. That's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. allowed to because of a, yeah. a long time. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, you, I know you're, you're running the club over there in, uh, is it, it's not in Southwick, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is right, right. in Southwick? And the name of it is? Club 57. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think you say hi to everybody over there. <laughs> <laughs> the TV will be on, right? I hope so. It better be. <laughs> yeah, 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 it better be, is right. And uh, you've never met this fellow here, of course. No, no I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Joe is on a little roll right now, you know. He's uh, yeah. come close to getting, uh, got two strikes in a row a few times. Yeah. And, uh, hit, finally hit 400. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just moving right along, but every match is a tough one. So take it as it comes. But that was said just, yeah. just beautifully, wasn't it? It's I too mean, honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck to both of you. You're old friends, and it's nice to have you here. We'll get underway right after this. All right, leading off today's challenger, Al Johnson of Southwick. High single, 197, high triple, 476. His average is 130. <laughs> Leaving one, two, seven, and eight, and a couple of pieces of wood. This is Al's 20th appearance on our program. He has a spare to begin. <laughs> A 
Now on lane three here at the fairway, it's a thin hit. It's four. Four horsemen left side plus five and eight. No wood. Almost pulled it off. Al's first appearance on our program was a winning one back in 1985. It's a nine. Now our defending champion, Joe Tavernese. High single, 207. High triple, 484. His league average is 122. And he begins with a strike, even uh, all of you folks who uh, are totally blind or have very limited sight and who ask me to describe everything, you could tell what that was. Four horsemen plus the five, eight and ten. He still has four pins. It is an eight. Now, Al Johnson. I should remind everybody that, before I forget it, that Al Johnson is the current record holder for 10 strings, 10 candle pin strings. He had a 1525 bowled about two years ago at Pilgrim Lane. Side by side, four and five plus the seven. The only piece of wood is off to the left. Oh, so close. Got the four and seven and sent a piece of wood spinning toward the five, but it didn't quite reach it. So it's a 10. Didn't like that one as soon as he delivered it, and as a result, left four horsemen left side plus the 10 pin, and the only piece of wood is in front of the 4 7. Just missed going down the line with the 1 into the 2 into the 4 into the 7. Didn't work. Just missed. Now he got it. Now, Joe Tavernese. Right across the back, he has seven, eight, and 10, and uh, one, two, three, four pieces of wood to scatter. If he hits it in the right place, not quite. Didn't get the 10. Everything else. Joe is the manager of the Peabody Metro Bowl. He's married and has two children. Al is married and has one son. Joe has left just the four standing, but it should not be up too long. Down it goes. <clears throat> the pause after four boxes of the first and of the second. With a bonus ball still to be rolled by Joe Tavernes. The score right now in pins felled, 44-42 Tavernes.
challenger, Al Johnson. Fifth and sixth boxes. <coughs> Thin hit. Three, five, six, ten over on the right. Four and seven on the left with wood in front of it. Man, he took out that right side in a hurry. A 10. Al Giglio on the electronic scoreboard as usual. Keith Williams on the big board for all the folks who are here. Our lob line judge and referee, there he is, Ralph Stewart. Don Riley is our coordinator. Oh, pretty shot. <laughs> Phil Rubin is our producer and director. And today our crew is Skip Peabody, Ken Sullivan, Carl Vieira, and Jeff Sullivan. <laughs> Joe Tavernes has left only the four at the moment. Too bad, he missed it on the left side. What those of you who cannot see heard was him hitting a piece of wood which actually was behind the object pin. Now he has it, but it's for a 10. Everything down except number one, the head pin. He has it. Al Johnson gets a thin hit, although they still continue to tumble. And now he's down to one. The seven pin. It looked like a real thin hit, and then they started to tumble. And I really mean one by one. Now there's a piece of wood rolling. He's got three pieces of wood. They're all basically from where the two would be to the right. And the one that was where the two was is the one he used to get the seven. Two marks in a row. It's a strike. That's three marks in a row. That's $50 in bonus money. Now Joe Taranis. Joe leading by 11 and working on a spear. Come on, Joe. All right, he got seven and uh, it's the one seven ten. So he has little opportunity to practice. Nope, got just the head pin. The one and the two. That, that's what uh, Joe Tavernese is looking at right now. No, it wasn't. I take it back. It was the two and the five. Al working on a strike. 
first ball, nets him seven. He's looking now at the four, five, seven, or if you prefer the five and then the four, seven. Made it. Four marks in a row, another $50 in bonus money. Seven, and he's looking at the two, four, with two pieces of wood in between, and the ten. Beautiful, made it. And another $50 in bonus money. Five marks in a row. Seven more. Now Joe Tavernese is working on a spare. Our defending champion fires. Seven and the three pin standing. Three, five, six. Oh, oh, he got a back door. He basically missed it. He hit the six pin. Looked like a miss, but he hit a piece of wood on the right side, and then the left side of that piece of wood came back and knocked down the other two. All right. Six. Four horsemen, left side. One, two, four, seven. There's wood to the right, which is rolling around a little bit. That's why he's waiting. There's another piece of wood that's in back of the four, seven. Yes. And the fill is seven more. So a good start for both bowlers. Very nice, a six pin lead right now for challenger Alfie Johnson and $50 in bonus money for winning the first string, 145 to 139. Middle string means our defending champion leads it off. And here he is, Joe Tavernese of Lynn. Great start, looked as if it was gonna be a strike, but he has left the kingpin, the five. 
Wood on both sides. It goes right on it for a spare. Six. Two, four, seven, and eight, and he didn't get it. Missed it all. Left the two pin. Al Johnson has a strike. Al representing Brian's bowl away in Gardner. His five string roll off was over 700. He had a 708. Two full on the head pin spread eagle. First ball nets him just four. Now looking without Lee Wood to help, two, four, seven, three, six, ten. Oh, yes, oh, take another look at that. He took out the left side, got Wood to go across and come, come backwards the 10 and uh, the six and then the three. Just a, a beautiful, beautiful spare. Joe Tavernese. Three, four, seven. He made it with the wood. Beautiful. Five, four horsemen left side and the eight pin in back with a piece of wood just a little bit in front of the eight. Yes, it came back. Seven pin went and then it fell into the four. Al Johnson has begun the middle string with a couple of marks. Strike then spare. Eight. Stopping before the foot foul line uh, made him sort of, threw him off just a little bit as he came to a stop before he slid over. All right, with Wood, he's going after the, oh, woo, good. Nope, it was the eight and nine and he just got the nine. Now the eight, yes. So he missed out on the three marks in a row. That one bounced off the football line. Nine pin. That's the only one up. Oh. Try to use wood. He's uh, doing a little talking to himself now because he went for wood that was on the left and tried to play it on an angle. In there was a piece of wood which is partially on And now he shakes his head because it went that way. All right, we're gonna take a check on the scoreboard one more time. And uh, after four boxes with a bonus ball still to be rolled by our defending champion, Joe Tavernese, the score in pins down is Johnson 58 and Tavernese 
1950. Joe Tavernese, and he has an opportunity for three marks in a row. Actually, he has three of the first four boxes, but the last two were together. Six is the fill. Two and three plus six and ten. Is it going to go? Nope, the six, not going to go. It rocked. It rocked, but it didn't roll. Got a lot of vocal assistance there. One pin to pick up the head pin right now and nope missed it single pin I don't know I don't know whether that's one or three I can't tell from here not where I am and if I were standing at the line I probably wouldn't be able to either well anyway I'd miss it okay Al Johnson I think he thought he had a strike that time, but he left two. The six and the nine. And a piece of wood. The wood, I think, is bothering him a little bit. He doesn't like the angle. Well, it worked for him. He really studied that. Now at the halfway point in our match. This will be a fill on the previous spare. Almost a strike, everything down except the 10 pin. He has uh, double wood in the gutter on the right and then the uh, third one that looked like it was gonna stay there rolled to the middle. Uh, nine. Nine. Come on, Joe. Get hot here. Give me a second. Get it, Joe. Get it. Get it now. Come on, step up. Two full. Spread eagle plus in back. He has left the, the nine pin. A 10.
One pin, the eight pin. He's got it for a spare. Our challenger, Al Johnson from Southwick. Fires. Wow. A slow motion strike. There were four pins standing, and it was one into the one, and then rolling over and get another, and then back to the other corner to get the seven. Before I forget, next week and for the next few weeks, our show on Channel 5 in Boston will be on at 10.30 a.m. All right, six. And uh, four still standing. The four horsemen right side. One, three, six, ten, no wood. He left the six pin. Hit it a little bit too thin on the left side. Ten. Okay, final two boxes in the middle string, and Joe Tavernese comes up, trailing by 26 at the moment, but he's opposite a 10 box, and he's filling a spare in the eighth. All right, six is the fill, and he's looking at a diamond. Did not get it. To 10. Strike when he needed it. Tenth box, middle string. 121 plus what he gets on the next two balls. Good shot of Joe's concentration. That is not what he wanted to do. He didn't want to miss the head pin. Just four. So he's looking at four horsemen left side over in the right corner of the 10 and in back the eight pin. It's a six for a fill. Johnson leaves the five and the eight. They're the two pins standing at the moment. He has a spare. 125 plus what he gets on the next one. First ball gets in six. Object pin becomes the three, but he did not get it. That's some backdoor action. Three pin. Yes, he has it for a 10. And a fine middle string by Al. A 141. So again, he wins $50 for winning the individual string, 141 to 127. He leads in the match by 20, 286, 266.
Right. Beginning of the third string with a 20 pin lead. Here is our challenger, Al Johnson. The two, the five, and the seven. The couple of pieces of wood to the right of the five. Two full on the two pin. It's a nine. Strike. Now Joe Tavernese comes up. <clears throat> Joe Tavernese, our defending champion, and he has a strike. With a 286 and a 266 between our two bowlers, we have a pretty good chance of keeping a streak alive, which first ball nets him five. On the right-hand side, he has the three, six, 10. Over on the left, the four and seven with some wood. That takes care of the right side. Don Riley, as you know, is our statistician as well as our coordinator, and he has given me some interesting statistics and reminded me of them. Right now, we are currently entertaining a program record, eight in a row, eight consecutive matches in which the champion at least has bowled 400 plus. It all started with Jack Ray's 450 on the 11th of November, and each champion since then has rolled over 400. Here's Al and Al Johnson. They keep tumbling, but they have stopped at the 4-7. I'll run you those numbers as soon as I get a chance. Yes. Starting with Jack Ray, on the 11th of November, he rolled a 450, you might remember. The next week, he rolled a 420. The week after that, a 429. Here's the bonus. And Al got a thin hit, leaving the four horsemen plus the five and eight and uh, 10. I won't interrupt this. Okay, he still has left three there. Okay, after Jack Ray was defeated by Chris Sargent, Sargent rolled a 403, another 403, and Joe Tavernese has rolled a 400, a 424, and a 402. So there's eight 400s in a row by our champion. And today's match at the moment is giving uh, every indication uh, that uh, we may keep that streak alive. Okay, Joe Tavernese now in the third and fourth box of the third string. That one went a bit awry. Oh, it looked as if he was going to get it, but no. Ten. Two full. Left side of uh, a spread eagle. It's gone down. Now the right for a 10. 
through four boxes, Al Johnson has 50 pins down. He needs 115 to roll 400. Actually, 114, but 115 to go over. 114 would put him at 400 even. Right now, he's looking at one, two, four, five. Anyway, there's still two. Got there before I counted. I was doing some, some figuring here. Nine. Al opened this third string with a nine, then a strike with a, a spare on it. Now, the last two have been eight and nine. Nine and ten are the uh, two pins standing. It's going to be a little tricky here. Can he do it? I see, but he did. Played it off the side plate. The nine pin off the, the, the excuse me, the ten pin off the side wall and came back and got the nine. All right, spare. Now Joe Taverney. Pin setter. Four pins standing. Three and six over on the right, four and seven on the left. And he got just the three. Ralph calls time. He's got that three pin is rolling up this way, the one that he knocked down. And it will be cleared by Ralph and put in the pit of lane three. Joe Tavernese has left five and nine. One piece of wood off to the left a bit, which is rolling in. One on the right. He got it. For a spare. Down to four boxes. And a 23-pin lead for today's challenger. Al Johnson from Southwick is working on a spare he made in the sixth. Here's the fill, and he got the strike. has just cost him nine pins. Called very loudly by Ralph called it immediately before the ball went down. It came very close to being another strike. Very close. This is still a bonus ball. So the bonus will be five. It's a 10. Al needs just 10 pins to hit 400, which will be an extra $100 bonus. Joe Taverney spilling on his spare gets just two. Now he's looking at four, seven, six, ten, and it is a seven box.
four horsemen left side is what Joe Tavernese is looking at. Got two of them. Joe, after three consecutive 400s victories, is 41 pins behind right now as we go to the last two boxes. Al Johnson. Three, four, six, or if you prefer, four alone over on the left and three and six on the right. One piece of wood to the left of the three pin. And he knew as soon as he released it that he was not going to hit the three pin. He is right now at 399. Nine consecutive weeks we have a 400. That was a spread eagle, he just got four. Two more. Joe Tavernese. One, two, seven, eight, and wood. No, yes, back door. Seven is the fill. And uh, obviously with the lead he had coming into the final four boxes, it, it is no surprise, of course, that Al P has won. And uh, he went over 400, making it nine consecutive weeks that we have had a 400. Nine box. So we have a new champion now in Al Johnson. He wins another $50 for winning the third string, 122 to 109, and the final score is 408 to 375.
have a total of 783 both bowlers combined, and uh, let's see, $200 is in here. And that means if a person is 10 either side, of course, that person will receive the $200. But just for having the card drawn, a $50 gift certificate from Christmas Tree Shops will go to that person. Getting a little crowded here, isn't it? About time we had something. See if I can squeeze my hand in here. Ooh. Wow. I'm not kidding. Of course, my fat fingers uh, make it a little bit uh, difficult. Okay. This one comes from, let's see, Richard Lehman of Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh oh, uh oh, and the guess, let's see what our total is 780, 7.50, so we add another $50. All right, our high low jackpot is up to uh, 175. Joseph. That's what you had to do was hit that old head pin. All right, I'll tell you, it's, it's really something, Joe, when a guy comes on here and rolls three consecutive 400s, huh? As I'll you did. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, when we look at it, well, hey, 424, that's not bad. That, that may hang in there, huh? You never know. Too early in the year to worry about that, though. Well, I know. <laughs> but at, le at but least, it, it at least you've got something to think man, about, that's right? right? Isn't that right? All right. As you knew, you were going to get this guy oh, yeah, from Din Brothers. You got eventually, it. right? And uh, $350 plus only 50 bucks in bonus money. Huh? Yeah, I know. I slacked off a little bit this week. That's all right. Oh, well. Hey, I'll be back. You bet your life. Yeah, I know that. You've been right. doing that for years. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Okay, good luck to you. Al, this will be inscribed. Uh, I don't know, you, your son someday will be looking at that and, uh, and admiring it very much. I hope so. $700 for winning and $400 in bonus money. Not bad. Also, you will get a $50 gift certificate, and that comes from Rotman's Furniture in Worcester. And uh, next week, uh, making his first appearance, he lives here in Framingham, but you probably have seen him on the tour, Paul Willits. And uh, in the last tour, just to, I don't know whether this gives you confidence or hurts him, but you rolled a 1324 and he rolled 1206. So I don't know whether that's going to make any difference or not. <laughs> But, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Listen, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. See you then.